This is my voltage mod for the R9 Fury X. Now the R9 Fury X has this um, Cooler Master branded pump. Um, I presume it's also made by Cooler Master um, because it has this horrible, horrible whine to it when it's running at 12 volts. Um, my one actually seems to have a whine no matter what voltage I set it at. Um, it seems to be loudest around 7 to 12. Um, I can't stand the sound of it. It is ear piercing, incessant, and it's pretty much all I can hear. My case is actually really quiet. Um, so is my computer room here. So it's, I mean, I couldn't stand it. So what I've actually done is I've changed the input voltage for the uh, pump itself to be around 6 volts. Um, it looks a little bit messy at the moment. I've just taken everything out so I can show you properly. Um, around 6 volts, the pump is almost dead quiet. Now you would think that the um, the water wouldn't flow properly because it's sitting at 6 volts, it's meant to be at 12. Well, not really. Um, I've done some testing and it seems to be almost at the same temperature, maybe 1 degree Celsius higher or 2 from my testing. Um, I'll show you some videos later, but it seems to be running very well at 6 and it's almost quiet. So this could be a godsend to a lot of people who who are suffering from this problem. Now the way I've actually changed the voltage, so dropped it, uh, is by using one of these modules here. You can get these from eBay and they're really really cheap um, and simple to use as well. So you've got your input side here, that'll be the 12 volts that's coming out of the header um, supplied by your graphics card. And then you've got your output here and that'll be going into the pump. So the input will be um, coming out of here, the top header, that'll be the red wire and then your output here that'll be going into the input so again the red and the black wire of the pump and I've got mine sort of sitting on the um, bottom here and I've actually connected it up to the um, the plastic covering of the pump itself the, um, the plastic doesn't get too hot so the double sided tape I've used won't melt now I've decided to use um, these cables here, um, they they allow me to actually change everything in a really non-destructive way. Uh, I didn't want to have to go and cutting any cables and splicing things together just in case I want to sell this sometime in the future. I can um, put it back to factory original condition. Um, rather simple. And at 6 volts, my one, like I said, makes almost no noise. Now your one's going to vary um, quite a bit, so you might have to um, adjust this pot here until you get it to the right voltage which is um, perfect for you. At 6 volts my one still goes fine and it keeps everything cool but well, anything lower than that I would well I would be careful um, to be honest. Um, up with 6 volts, 7, 8, 9, 10 um, if you can get away with it and the noise is a lot less you'll be perfectly fine. Now you notice at the very bottom right of your Fury X card you'll find two headers the um, bottom one with the four pins, that's for your fan, and the top one with the six pins, that's for your pump. Now you'll have two cables um, specifically coming out of your um, hip to pump header here. One will be a red cable, that's your 12 volts, which will be going into the input side of your uh, module. And the black one, the ground, that'll be going into the negative side of the module. Um, so 12 volts into here, then out of here, six or seven, whatever you set it at. Will be coming out from here and that'll be going into the the input of the pump here so you can see there's the output and I've got the red and black cable connected here for the input for the pump. I did um, also replace the fan um, you can see I've um, put the cables into both of the headers. The original fan I think it was a Nidec one um, it was loud and almost as obnoxious as the um, the pump itself, it, it was rattling, a lot of vibration. So I've used these cables here, um, similar way that I've done with the, um, the module. Um, I inserted them inside the, um, just a regular fan header that you find that you connect to your motherboard. I've inserted them into here and then I've put them down into the, um, the header here on the graphics card. Now one thing to keep in mind, if you do go my method, um, you're going to need to take off the um, the plastic, um, you know, the plastic cover on these cables here because the um, the diameter of the inside here is a lot bigger than the pins on the bottom there, 
it'll just be too loose and it'll just fall off. So what I've actually done is I've um, taken it off and then I've crimped the very end of it. So now it fits on really snugly and it doesn't pull off very easily. Um, of course, it was exposed then. You just had to expose metal and you can't let it short out between the pins here if they touch each other. So I put some string tubing on it to insulate it. The, um, the fan I've decided to use is this nice Noctua fan. Um, I've always been a big fan of Noctua fans. Um, excellent static pressure, really quiet. And it seems to actually keep the, um, the card cooler than the original fan did with far less noise. So it's definitely worth um, looking into upgrading it if your um, original fan is you know, playing up. So I've got everything put back together, um, sort of neat. Um, everything's sort of braced against each other so it doesn't rattle, it doesn't move around. The, um, the cables that I've got attached to the pins here, they're in nice and tight so they don't move around. Uh, should be ready for the, um, there we go, the cover fits on real nice. What I'll do now is I'll do some benchmarking and I'll show you some temperatures um, that I get with the um, Noctua fan attached to the radiator and my pump running at 6 volts.